What's up, Starlight Aquatics? Check this out. <clears throat> Besides having the bullet filter, and I showed you how to make that, and we have put some filter floss in there with the biomedia on top. Still wrapped it up with the rubber band and the mesh on the bottom to keep everything from falling out. We have had a little bit of a problem since we added the eco complete now my problem was well needed to clean up the water that worked and on top of that i noticed just little itty bitty particles that was left in in the waterway just from having the you know the eco complete mixed in and whatnot and this is something else that I use to help get all those little itty bitty um, particles out of the waterway. Basically, you're going to make your fish look like they're just floating. Because uh, basically, it, it really helps also clean all the little micro particles that you'll see. There's, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, bubbles coming from this i slowed it down so i could show you but if you look closely that's bubbles but it's also little itty bitty bits of debris from the uh from the uh the substrate and there's obviously bubbles coming from you know the top of the two filters right there but however Check this out. It's jungle pond water clear. Clears cloudy water fast. Helps filters operate efficiently. Alright, but check this out. All you do, and this is a 60 gallon tank, is you put, uh, it's a cap full, which is 5 milliliters to 15 gallons. This is a 60 gallon tank, so that'd be 4 cap fulls. It turns your, uh, it, it, it turns water a little milky, gets cloudy as hell, and then basically within a couple hours, bam, this is what you get. And it's not even done yet, and you can keep treating until it's completely the way you want it. So, give this... Uh, Give this definitely a try, guys. Um, I've used this for years, and I forgot about it. And uh, to be honest with you, when I, I thought about it, I was like, man, where's that stuff that I have? It? And I was looking and looking and looking, looking through my stuff, and I didn't have any. So I was like, ah, you know what? I'm going to go get some. You can get this stuff at Walmart. You can get it at pet stores i mean you can find it anywhere and uh this stuff treats up to what do they say 700 liters it's uh example da -da 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 790 190 gallons so up to 190 gallons uh definitely definitely try it out guys because uh, this stuff will be, honestly, your best friend in a tight pinch. Along with using as much filter and everything that you see. Basically, I got that one. That one. My bullet filter, which basically keeps all that nice... Um, biomedia and all that good uh healthy stuff just in the tank without you know the risk of taking out anything that you don't want but it does take out all the muck and mess i just replaced this filter floss it was about uh three days i normally change it right after it uh goes all brown and nasty like uh put in a new one uh, you know, sh put, uh, that got tongue tied, take out, basically what I do is I, I drop 
I uh, drop the rubber band, pull the, the safety net, I yank out the nasty filter floss, throw that away, get a new piece of filter floss, uh, get it ready, I, with only the biomedia in the, the bottle, I shake it until it comes basically clean, basically getting all the nasty stuff off the outside, uh, shake it, shake it, rinse it, shake it, put a new piece of filter floss in, replace my uh, my mesh net rubber bands make it safe and sound put it back up onto my power head I got my trusty hair tie even though that I have no damn hair now because I got rid of it all <laughs> they come in handy to hold them on so they don't drop because you know these things do weigh a little bit of uh, you know after you get all the the media and and uh basically the choice of the media that you put in these things that's up to you they're they're all good you know some of them uh are a lot lighter these are the solid ones you can get the lighter ones and they'll actually make like a like a rotating you know i mean they'll really fly around if you keep the bottom of it on and and choose not to do that and you poke holes in it and then you just dump all your stuff in uh from the top um Although, uh, it, you might have to use a new bottle because it, once you get that uh, filter floss in there, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get it out. But uh, this is the way I always do it, guys, as I showed you with the, the bottom. Quick clean, quick change, all that jazz. Um, my Plecos, Discus are happy, healthy, Henri as hell. And, uh, the guys, uh, I, I also had to, uh, I also had to use my cone because, <laughs> and I'll show this in an upcoming video, I'll probably do one tonight, followed with this one, that these little guys, I don't know if any of you guys, uh, have ever noticed your plecos doing this, but they like to eat bloodworms. They hog it, actually. So I dropped two of the the little blood worm tabs in, went to the bottom. These two guys went over it just basically like NFL style. Jumped on that shit like a quarterback was getting sacked and they swam away. Guess what wasn't there? The blood worms. I didn't even know they ate them. But they're healthy and they're big. I also give them the... Uh, I also give them different supplements of wafers. I got the shrimp wafers. I got the Pletco wafers. Really good, healthy, good for them, man. Uh, guys and gals out there. But uh, if you guys want to uh, get a little boost on your, your clean and... Uh, Filtration is key. A little help never hurts. But, uh, you know, the more filtration, the better. And then all you have to do is concentrate on, you know, just vacuuming up any kind of fish poop that might be down there. Uh, see a little bit of a wafer that was busted up. Because these guys are pigs. Absolute pigs. They eat and eat and eat and eat. They're kind of like my shrimp, but uh, these guys are doing happy, healthy, good things. They're enjoying their life. Um, I'm going to be getting a uh, couple new videos up to you soon, so stay tuned, guys. And once again, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping in and watching another video from Starlight Aquatics with me, Danny, and the fish. Just chilling. As always, later.